Next here is a Dibby Pack 3246 restyling machine that we took in Part X. Um, and as you can see, it's very clean, very tidy now. Obviously, when we go on Galley Pack, when we refurbish these machines, it's not just a can of WD-40 and a Mr. Sheen and a couple of cloths. It's a proper dismantle, look at everything, look at what's worn and replace, um, you know, parts that are likely to let you down. Um, things to check when you're, when you're buying a, a second-hand machine, particularly on the, some of the auction sites, um, one of the, the well-known ones. I've, I've had a few machines from there and they're... They look great in the pictures till you get them, but what you should check is the sealing system, like this corner block and the blade holders where that sealing blade there fits. They'll always be worn or burnt out. The piston, the brass tensioners will be, the screws will be stripped. These will be filthy, dirty, full of debris, uh, not in good condition normally. And I mean, a sealing system replacement blade infills corner block, maybe a brass piston and the, and the rubber and Teflon on the upper hood you look you know 250 quid and if you've just bought a machine and paid eight nine hundred quid for it you don't expect to be getting a, another big bill the other thing to look for is inside the chamber you know obviously make sure it, it's reasonably clean in there um you know if you want signs of wear or anything check that fan as well make sure all the blades are in place if one of those is gone or broken something's been dropped in there but it can make the fan run at Sort of off balance it will knock the bearings out in that fan eventually so again just check that make sure the heater flap is you know opening and closing at the back you can see that flap that opens when the when the machine is activated the general condition of the loading tray obviously this machine is used there's a few marks on there people tend to use a, a standing knife to cut the film on the loading tray bad practice but but i mean if that is absolutely worn and all the paint's gone and there's hundreds of knife marks in there the machine's had a hard life. This one's, you know, this hasn't done that much work to be honest. Um, check the condition of your perforators. Um, again, this one's not done that much work really. It's been cleaned though. Um, they're all in good condition. Have a look at the back of the machine, see what sort of condition it's in. Um, nice and clean and tidy this one because obviously we've refurbished it. Um, you know, just go round the machine generally and have a good look, you know, if there's piles of debris and dirt in there, you know, it's not been serviced or looked after very well. This one we've stripped down and we've given a good clean. It's had a new control panel. This is the panel here. Um, you can go through the functions here at the moment. That's the temperature. And if you look there, that's the pack counter since it's been turned on. That there is the magnet timer. Uh, that's the magnet timer, I should say, and that is the sealing time how long the sealing system comes on for when the when the machine is activated. We've got, um, it's, it's in good condition, this machine. It's, uh, as I say, it's had a new control panel. These functions, it wouldn't let you scroll through the programs. So it means somebody's been in there with a big fat digit and prodded it too hard and broken the momentary switch on the circuit board. So we've replaced that. Inside, the power board's been replaced on this. Um, again, when we took it apart, um, there were signs of some sort of dampness. So I would think someone's obviously, I would think someone's probably stood a drink on it and removed this, it's fallen over, they've knocked it up and it's seeped into the machine and probably gone on the circuit board. You, know, you, you don't put drinks and stuff on electrical machinery. You wouldn't stand a, wouldn't stand a pint of beer on top of your computer, would you? But anyway. That's been replaced. The hood on this one was in pretty dismal condition. It had a, a crack in it. I think the hood is up there that come off it. Somehow they'd managed to muddle the front of the hood. Um, so again, we've taken the hood off of this machine and given it a nice brand new hood. They're not cheap. It's sort of a couple of hundred quid. The power board inside the machine on these, you get 400 quid. The control board is 195 quid. A sealing system to replace it 250 quid and then as i say the machine has been stripped cleaned and re reassembled and uh making sure it's it's working as it should be working which you know pleased with it um, i'm happy to sell that now and put the galley pack name against it um but as i say be sure 
um, that you give them a good look over before you buy them. I'll go over to another machine now, a similar machine. This is a 3246 restyling, uh, a Dibby Pack machine. Over here, this is an earlier Dibby Pack machine. This is what uh, the restyling replaced. This is what they call uh, a Dibby Pack 4255. They call it Evolution as well. Um, it's an EV. I, I quite like these control panels on these machines. This machine actually works and functions. But if we go around it and look, this was bought from a, a well-known auction site um, and described as in very good condition. I would disagree with that. Condition, debris, piston cover missing. You know, the machine will still work, but it shouldn't be missing. Um, that wasn't described. The general condition inside the chamber is absolutely filthy. The sealing system is shot. The blade's not been cleaned and lubricated. It's burnt out, it's starting to come out. Um, big build up of debris down here. Um, corner block, obviously, that's in a bit of a poor state. We go down to the back of the machine. Again, cover's missing, um, in poor condition. Could really do with a complete sealing system replacement on this one, as well as the, someone's been using it as we look here, with no Teflon tape on it, surprise, surprise. Um, so the rubber and Teflon will need replacing. Uh, I can see from up here, Obviously it's corroded for some reason or whatever and someone's had a half-hearted attempt at uh, spraying it with probably silver wheel or something from Alfred's. But that needs to be, the hood needs to be taken off and to be honest, this hood, although you could probably clean it up and it's not broken, I think we would actually take, we'll take this off really in all fairness and um, we'll replace it. Again, the back of the machine. Look at all this debris. It all needs to be stripped down and cleaned properly and inspected. Um, all of this would come off and we'll T-cut it uh, and then we'll put it back together bit by bit, replacing any of the corroded parts, taking them back to bare metal primer and then put some proper paint on them. Not a you know, half-hearted attempt at uh, well, whatever they've done here. I'm really not sure what they've done, but uh, again, Complete sealing system, stripped down, clean, new hood. Um, perforators seem to be okay on this machine. Yeah, perforators are okay. But again, as I say, bought this on eBay described as good condition. It's not good condition. It needs a complete sealing system. You're talking 250 quid. That hood will have to be replaced, 225, because it looks as manky as I don't know what. And a good couple of days labor. So. Even though I've paid for a working machine, so I thought, um, we'll, have to, we'll have to put probably 500 quid worth of parts on this and spend a couple of days stripping, cleaning and painting to make sure that when it goes out, whoever purchases this machine gets a, a good machine in good condition and it will see them, see them right for a few years. Of course, I mean, we can supply any parts for these anyway as a distributor for this LDB pack, but... Um, Anyway, there you go. Look out for these machines. When you buy them, go and have a look at them first. And if they're in poor condition like this, you can always sort of drop me an email and I'll tell you what the parts are likely to cost. Or have a look on our website. All the parts are listed there. That's at www.galley-pak.co.uk And I'll just zoom onto it there that's where we're at um, ignore that fax number that's quite it's an old sticker but I've got a supply of them so I'm not gonna throw them away it's not very environmentally friendly but the phone number that's my mobile number that web address is correct that's where you will find our online shop with parts for these Dibby pack machines both of those are Dibby packs you'll also find parts this here is this is a scrapper We'll take a few bits off of that. That's a mini pack EP85 in terrible condition. But we also do parts for other machines. These, uh, there's two there, two orange machines there, mini pack FM75 SCE machines. They will be refurbished and available soon. Um, this machine here is a test rig for repairing circuit boards. Here, this machine here, this is a Chinese copy machine, an EKH455. Um, it's a copy of a Dibby Pack 4255. 
right over the back there underneath that crash helmet. You can just about see there's a replay 55 sitting underneath there. That's another mini pack machine. That'll be a sale for sale once we drag it out and refurbish it. Over the back there, the little one with the hood down. That's a 3246 STC or an STX, another Dibby pack. And furthest away with the two, the two at the back there with the hoods up, they are, um, they are Dibby pack 4255. I think they're EVGs or something like that. But they're, so I think they are, um, they're only a couple of years old, but they need refurbishment. They'll be coming out and uh, they'll be refurb soon as well. We've got some more tucked away somewhere. Um, but as I say, when you're buying machines, uh, just have a look at them before you buy them. Uh, inevitably, most machines we ever buy second hand, I mean, mostly we take them in part X, so we know they're gonna be worn out. But we buy a few on some of these auction sites and they're never as they're described. They always need work. I would say nine out of 10 times we have to change the entire sealing system um, because they're shoddy. And I would say seven out of 10 times there'll be a fault, an electrical fault or something not quite right about it somewhere. But anyway, this one totally referred by us. Uh, as you can see, this one was in sort of pretty bad condition when it came in, but we've spent three or four days on this one, pulling it apart and replacing the parts and it's in good condition now. And it's for sale, £1,195 plus VAT. But anyway, there you go. I shall sign off now. Uh, don't forget our website, my contact details. That's me, that's my mobile. My name's John Gallimore. I'm the proprietor at Gallipack. Um, if I don't answer, you probably get through to my son, Robin Gallimore. He can help you as well. Uh, we also buy second hand machines, chamber machines primarily. Um, so, or if you've got one that's I've seen better days and you want to get a new one, we'll take it part X. But uh, obviously we don't give a fortune for them because we always end up spending more than we care to bringing them back to how they should be. Have a great day. Catch you soon.